Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Rodgers going to the air to start things out. And his throw here is incomplete. And Garrett Wilson, the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. Now Rodgers going to shift him around. Got 300. Got 300. 26. Rodgers going to throw again. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That's good for a jet first down, a gain of 13. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Motion man left is Lazard. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. This would complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 more yards there and another first down. First down. First and ten at the 46 yard line. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. They'll send the tight end in motion left. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Rodgers will try again on second down. On the slant, he's got Hardman. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 32-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And that's going to be caught downfield by Lazard. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Allen Lazard, 32 yards. And the Jets will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice, fast start. Get out after them and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave and that gives you a little added pep. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. On the ground, it's swift to start the drive. 
he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Now a give right side Swift. Not enough there for a force. No gain as a matter of fact. And it leaves it at third and one. Here now third and a yard. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. A handoff Swift running to the left. He'll get this down to the 21 just on the edge of the red zone. Quinn Williams on the stop. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Not that time for Watkins. And now it's third down. Throwing his hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, he's so tough to stop with his size and his hands, and there against man coverage, he just ate that up. Remember when we were talking before the game? All I kept saying about the guy was mismatch. This guy is something, isn't he? Well, he really is a mismatch because, you know, we talk about this a lot, CD, but who are you going to put on him? A defensive back, a linebacker, no matter who it is, he seems to have the advantage. Yeah, and if you want to double him or triple him, that means someone else should work their way open. This guy can break down defenses. Elliott good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The problem is a former defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there at the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. The out route's such a timing route that sometimes the guy throwing the ball just throws it almost blindly, just kind of counts on that timing winning. And in this case, the ball was batted away. Hey, Mike. Box it, box it, box it. Hey, check 26. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man, that's Lazard. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. These two teams all tied after one.
So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 27. Go to 50. Hey, you block over here. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. And again, it's Rodgers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And Garrett Wilson, the one he was looking for, and that'll bring up second down. Now Rodgers. Catch is made by Hardman. Touchdown, Jets. Nicole Hardman, 27 yards. And the Jets have taken the lead. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. They'll throw on first down with Hurts, and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. The quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball, receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Hurts to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time. It's going to lead to third down. Set up to throw. Pass to the sideline and put it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That gain on third down, good for 28. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. A big play there for Philly. 45 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. 
Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. That false start knocks them back behind the 10 now as they'll try again first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking sideline, and that's caught by Watkins. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. A gain of seven that time, second goal. And they ran just a little underneath the route here on first and goal, but there's really not a whole lot of room to operate this close to the goal line. He's just not able to get loose after the catch. On second down, Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Elliott on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. On first down, Rodgers. And Lazard's got it again. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Rodgers to throw once more. He'll get this to Lazard. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Rodgers wants to change the look. They'll look to throw again. Taken down. 
Jalen Carter gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carping them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Motion man left is Lazard. On second down, here's Rodgers. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes. And the Jets will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Zerline now for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. But first down, Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. And they work this well up field across the 45. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. He'll drop to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Slot man moves right. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. 63, 63, 63. Hey. Silver. Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. Under pressure. They got him again. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They're going to look to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Ashton Davis. And the Jets are going to take possession as they got it at the 42-yard line. And I think this is a situation where quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
So after the INT, it's Rodgers. They still can't get it. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And he won't quite make it to the 25. set to go this offense Charles had a strong first half throwing the football at least in terms of yardage but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum yeah you're right about that because you know let's face it in the first half most of their focus was in the passing game and to their credit resulted in a healthy amount of yardage so I would think that at halftime they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Second down. Here's Hurts. That is incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind how to throw so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only the DBs going to throw their vertical trash their way, when they get back to the hole, they got a few words to say to the QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Hurt sets up to throw it. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man, and he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Rodgers to throw on second down. He's got the hook up to Lazar. And he's brought down at the 19 after a game of 19. First down in the red zone. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's Rodgers. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Jets go up by two touchdowns.
Now Zerline on and the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? And now off to the is down the right side. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. And this is how you answer a touchdown at the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Hurts. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's a big force of completion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing his hurts. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Jets are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. now on first down. Here's a diving catch right side. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. From midfield, here's Rodgers. That is caught. It's Uzama. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the 30. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And again, it's Rodgers. Oh, the out round, he finds Hardman. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. He completes it to Wilson. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Rodgers throwing on second down. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. First 
Rodgers directing traffic, going to change the play. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. 26. Now Rodgers, a free play. And that is caught, but the bank judge right there to say incomplete. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy. Here's another second and goal, this time from half the distance closer. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And now they'll shift things around. now on third and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Aaron Rodgers. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Zerline now for the PAT. He's got it, and the lead stretches to 35-14. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know this hurts. Fumbles it, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And all the way in. Touchdown. On fire, his fifth 
touchdown pass of the ball game. And the Jets have opened up a four touchdown lead here in the fourth. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. offense set to begin their next drive they're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control let's see if they can get things back on track and this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and for the fourth time tonight it's an interception and he's just across midfield and down at the 49 yard line Rodgers changing the play, it appears. First down, here's the run with Cook. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. On first down, Rodgers. Open man is Uzama. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So it's Jets football as we get your reset here. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. Rodgers now on first down. Caught by Wilson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll make it second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Rodgers looking to throw. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier, and he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Go to 50. 
Hey, you block over here. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Rodgers. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. It's fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Pert sets up to throw it. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And the Jets are going to take possession here at their own 33. And I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. Catch is made by Hardman. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. And it'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. First down. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. 50. Jets 300. Get 26. Rodgers throwing here. And that's going to be caught downfield by Lazard. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 42 yards. Partner under the lights in prime time this 